Hi, I'm Bryony. I'm a lower six student and I'm studying an EPQ. Basically, you choose a project title and you research that and produce an essay in a presentation based on your title. My title is Why Do Men Commit the Majority of Indictable Criminal Acts in England and Wales? And I'm doing that because I want to study law at university. I'm part of the Medical Sciences Pathway at Cheadle Hume. I think it's a synergy of being able to undertake a scientific career, being involved in chemistry and biology, which I really do find interesting and enjoy, um, but similarly being able to directly apply this to working with and helping people in the community. I think this has been really beneficial in terms of hopefully being able to apply and get a place at medical school. It's really opened my eyes to see everything just further than my subjects. I don't know what it's like, stands for, it's like extended... Extended project qualification. That's the one, you do it. You've got to write a 5,000 word essay and also do a presentation on it. You have complete choice over what you want to do. You could do it on absolutely anything you find interesting. You've got to know your stuff about your topic really, that's the key. You're having to collate all the information that you've learned. Yeah, and then answer questions. Which yeah. That's quite tricky because you're yeah. not sure what questions yeah. you're going to get asked. Mr Smith, he gave us a challenge uh, to write about a certain part of World War I since it was a, like a hundred year anniversary. I decided to go on the effect of uh, the Treaty of Versailles on Germany. I recently entered the Peter Bullock Prize competition because I really enjoy physics and when I'm older I'd like to become a pilot for British Airways. Doing the Peter Bullock Awards was absolutely amazing. I loved every minute of it. Um, at first I was nervous, however, it has uh, made me more confident doing PowerPoint and I could use it for future references. Hi, my name's Izzy and I'm studying painting and art. Hi, my name is Max and I'm studying textiles and art. I was given the opportunity to do live painting in the Manchester by Art Fair. It was really fun, but whilst being nerve-wracking at the same time. I got to do the Duncan Matheson project at school, and I chose to do it on Lowry because he's like grown up like around where I live, and it's really easy for me to take inspiration from his paintings and put it into mine. It shows that um, paintings can be so simple but really effective. They're kind of giving you like a path that you can go down, but you can explain what you want to achieve and they'll help you do it. People think physics is so boring, but then when you actually get to do it, you get to do so many cool different things with it. We just do really cool things. In teaching, we're not told to write this down, write that down. They just deliver the lesson and we write down what we need to. Uh, we went to Geneva in Switzerland. Uh, specifically to see the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, which is a research centre near Geneva. It was a great experience and we got to see a different side of research. It's not just all sitting around talking, it's actually getting out there in the field and really working hard on massive projects that span across countries. I really enjoyed it. There was a lot to learn there and we got the chance to, to sit down and speak with some of the employees there. Our English teacher, Miss Sanville, she told us about the Great Green Debate in class and she said if we put together a group of four people we can, we can participate. It just seemed like something different because I normally don't really get involved in that kind of debating thing. It's quite nerve-wracking just standing up in front of everyone and having to like, debate with them but once you get into it it's, it's much easier. We, we decided to sell like, reusable straws because we knew there was like a market in America for it because one of our colleagues uh, went, went to America over the summer. People buy a lot of straws at school, we made a few sales outside of school, like uh, nationally and uh, to small businesses and cafes, so yeah, it's gone really well. You learn about like uh, different ways of implementing pricing, uh, different I don't know, company structures, different roles in the company. We get the chance to like deal with the challenges ourselves, so initially we were having team meetings with 17 of us, which were just carnage almost. But then oh. when we implemented like a company structure, so like assistant managing directors, managing directors, different director roles and different teams, then it all became a lot more cohesive. Personally, being in a business and being high up in a business, that's what I'd like to do when I'm older and uh, I'd like to be able to run a team, lead people and uh, yeah, the transferable skills there are just invaluable. <laughs>